Welcome to the Adult Chair Podcast with Michelle Chalfont, a place to delve into who we are, how we got that way, and explore what it takes to be a healthy grown up. With an extensive toolbox and guests with varied expertise, Michelle will lead us on a journey to learn what it's like to live authentically and to love ourselves just the way we are. And now, here's Michelle. Hello, 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 everybody. We made it. We are done with the holidays. Everything's done. It is December 26th. We're over the hump. Christmas is over. Passover's done. We're done. We're done. We're done. How did everybody do? (laughs) I hope everyone had a, a good holiday and everyone's doing well now, taking a nice deep breath. Maybe have a little vacation time. That's nice. I myself am at my sister's in Charlotte, North Carolina, having a lovely time. We are uh, spending a few days here and then heading back to Nashville. It's been lovely, but my goodness, I have had a crazy busy fall and I'm looking forward to just not leaving Nashville for a while. However, I am leaving Nashville in one month. I'm coming right back here (laughs) for the... Adult Chair Live, the live event we're doing January 30th, 31st, and February 1st. There are still seats available, a few actually, just a few at the adultchair.com forward slash events. So come check that out. If you'd like to join me in Charlotte, I'd love to have you. What are we talking about today? Today I'm talking with you about cleansing relationships. I want actually cleansing yourself when it comes to relationships within relationships, as well as cutting cords and things like that. This might not sound like something you know about, which is why I'm hoping to educate you on this today. It's a very, very important subject, especially because I'm sure you're around a lot of people this last month or so. And this isn't a really important concept that you learn for yourself in order to keep yourself really clean, energetically speaking, and living in your adult chair. It's very important that we understand this. So you have to understand first that we're all energy, we're energy, we're energetic beings. And what happens is when we are in relationship with another person, we are forming connections with them. We use that term all the time. I'm connected with so-and-so. I'm disconnected from so-and-so. It's interesting to me how often we use these terms and phrases that really represent energy. So when we have a connection with someone, we have energy connections. They're like cords that go back and forth between us. This is really an important concept because when we form a relationship with someone, whether it be family members, friends, romantic relationships, coworkers, bosses, it doesn't matter. We really do form these energy cords between each other. It's really important that we, that we cleanse ourselves of these cords when we leave that relationship or even when we leave that person so that when we do our personal work and we're doing our growth work and we're learning how to live in our adult chairs, then when we get back with that person, we want them to see us as the new us. So if you found over the holidays, you go and you see these people that you don't see very often, yet they treat you like the, like you used to be or the relationship you used to have, it's because you're still connected with those old energy cords from years ago or from months ago or however not long that you've known them. This, this often happens when we're with our family. You know, We go back and they don't see us as we are today. They see us as when we grew up in that same house with, with all those people. So it's important that we cut the cords with them. When we cut cords, it doesn't mean we're ending a relationship with somebody, although it's a great thing to do if you have ended a relationship. But what it means is we're cutting the cord so that then when you see that person again the next time, they see you as the new you. I, I say this to people even today, and I've heard many other people say the same thing. Can you see me as the person I am today? Different than I was a year ago. I'm different than I was six months ago. So when we cut the cords, when we are, when, by doing this cutting cord meditation, it really helps us to become clear and clean and let ourselves grow and become anew and then reconnect in a healthy way with people. So that's number one. We want to cut cords so we people see us as who we are today. Number two, if you've, like I said, if you've ended a relationship, for sure, cut those cords. And you'll know that you have old cords that need to be cut when you notice that patterns from the past are showing up 
like, why does that pattern keep showing up? I cannot get rid of that pattern with that person. I don't know what's going on. Cut the cord and then watch the pattern end. The other way that we know when we need to definitely cut cords is when you get triggered by somebody over and over. Again, when you are reverting to that old per- the old way that you used to be when you're with that person, it could be a, ro- a romantic relationship or again, someone in your family. When someone's making you doubt yourself, Again, no one makes us do that, but when it just naturally happens, cut the cord and become the new you today and then reconnect with that person. Sometimes people energy suck us. You know, they call them energy vampires. It's just that like when you're with someone, you start yawning, you feel drained when we're when you're with that person, cut the cord. And then you're going to reestablish a new healthy relationship with them. The other thing that I find happens is people... You'll know you have to cut a cord if you've ended a relationship with somebody and you're thinking about them all the time. There's someone from your past, you cannot get them out of your mind. It's like you're stuck in the past. I often recommend this meditation for people that have ended a relationship and they start obsessing on that person in the past. Cut the cord, cut the cord with them because it's unhealthy what's happening. Cutting a cord, remember, does not mean you're ending the relationship. It's ending the dysfunction that you had with that person. Cut it. When you are in a relationship that's not very healthy, and then you attract another kind of person that's just like the old person, it means you're still connected to the old person. So you're, there's a pattern there again. When you keep attracting the same kind of person, cut the cord with the, with the original person. Again, feeling drained. If you can't forgive yourself or this other person, cut the cord again. If you really want to just get that person out of your life, cut the cord. But I just want to be clear because people say to me, well, I love that person. I don't, I don't want to end the relationship. There's a difference here. This meditation that I'm recommending for you guys today that I've created is truly for cutting the cord so you can start fresh with that person. When I have clients every day, and not that I have clients every day anymore, but when I have clients, I cut cords. I love my clients, but I want, I don't want them connected to me and me connected to them at the end of that session. When I'm with my sister, my mom, I just take my, my hand and I just whoosh, in my mind, cut the cords because I don't want to take their stuff with me and my, I don't want them to have my stuff. So it's as simple as that, but the meditation takes it another step further. It's a little bit deeper. So um, that's what I'm offering you today. Surprise, surprise. It's another meditation. It's a really, really, really important meditation to help you to get yourself clean and clear for the new year. But this is a meditation you certainly can do all throughout the year. The meditation is cleansing and cutting cords. Okay. It's all about cleansing your relationship really with yourself and others, and then cutting cords with those people. So If you're feeling drained after the holidays, because there was that one person that just ticked you off all holiday season, this is the one. That person you had to see at Thanksgiving and Christmas, cut the cords. So I think you're going to love this meditation. It's a really powerful one that helps you to get yourself clean. So there you go. Enjoy the meditation and happy, happy new year, you guys. I will be chatting with you in one week on January 2nd. Have a beautiful rest of your year and so much love to all you guys. Love you all. Thanks for listening. If you want more information on the show, and a lot of you have asked me about various shows that I've done in the past, just go to theadultchair.com, click on the podcast tab, and you can put in the search bar any topic under the sun, (laughs) and you will be able to find that show. And I often do shows sometimes one, two, and three times the really, really good, the good topics that people ask me about all the time. So check that out if you want more, if you want to listen to some different shows, but enjoy this meditation and I'll talk to you in the new year. I'll see you seated next week right here in the adult chair. When a relationship ends, becomes hurtful or unhealthy, we must clean the energy between us and the other person. We can do this by cutting cords 
so a new healthy relationship can form if it's in our highest good to do so. Let us begin. Take a nice deep breath and close your eyes. Allow yourself to sink into the surface where you are resting and breathe. Slow your breath down and let it come into a nice rhythmic pattern all on its own. In your mind's eye, imagine standing in front of you someone that was or is in your life that you are having issues with, having trouble communicating with, perhaps you don't feel seen or heard, perhaps you were hurt, or maybe this relationship is ending or even over. See this person standing in front of you and imagine yourself standing a comfortable distance away. If you are experiencing any emotions or triggers coming up with this person being with you, or maybe things you want to express to this person are coming up, it's okay. Allow them to rise up. If you are having this experience, see the words that are coming up for you and put them on a ticker tape machine, like the one in the stock market. When these words move to the right, just like on the ticker tape machine or on the television, they are gone and there's an ending to these words. See this happening now with any triggers or emotions or words that are coming up for you now. As you stand across from this person in front of you, allow your gaze to soften and imagine the various cords that are connecting the two of you. They may be small, large, thick, thin, connecting back to front or front to back, head to heart, or all of it. There is no right way to see the cords. Allow yourself to see them now and keep breathing. We remember that by cutting these cords, You are not ending the relationship with this person. You are simply cutting away the unhealthy parts and patterns of this relationship so you both can have a clean slate if you should choose to do so and it's in the highest good for you both. Now, with a tool of your choice, cut these cords. You can use scissors, an axe, a blowtorch, anything you want. Use multiple tools if you need them. Watch the cords disconnect, drop, or recoil away from you both. Staying mindful of your breath as you do this. Continue cutting all the cords until you feel done. Now take a nice, slow, deep breath. From the center of your being, notice the light deep within you. Expand this light now through every part of your being.
all parts of your body drink this light in. This healing light cleanses away any remnants from the cords, any roots to the cords, and any unhealthiness left behind from the relationship with this person. See the light bathe your being now. With a deep breath, expand this light further outside of yourself. See the circle of light expand and envelope the other person standing in front of you, bathing them as well, cleansing them in this healing love energy. The intention is to cleanse you both and allow you to move on and reconnect in a healthy way if it's in the highest good. Take a deep breath. Now, bow to this person and release them back into their bodies. Feel yourself come back into your body, back into the room. Notice the surface you're sitting or lying on. And when you are ready, open your eyes.